Hello and welcome to Royal Elementor's YouTube channel. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create and configure one-page navigation by adding one of our easy-to-use add-on. To give you a better idea of how one-page navigation works, let's see some real example. As you can see, this page consists of several sections like welcome section, testimonials, prices and frequently asked question. On the right side of the page, we have this navigation and each item of the navigation is linked to a different section of the page. Click on one of the navigation item and it will take you to its corresponding section. It's a very cool feature and it could improve your site user experience in many scenarios. Before we start, please consider subscribing because more tutorials like this are coming soon. So let's dive in. First things first, you have to install and activate Royal Elementor Addons plugin. In the first part of this tutorial, I will use the free version of the plugin and after that I'll show you all the great features that come with the Pro Edition. On my demo site, I have set it up a simple page with a few Elementor sections. In your case it could be different, but remember, you are not limited on which or what number of sections you use. So to begin with, from my Royal Addons, I'm gonna drag and drop one page navigation add-on at the bottom of my page but you can put it anywhere you want. We can immediately notice that on the right side of our page, a new navigation bar has appeared, but it is not functional yet. To make it work, we need to link each element to its corresponding section. On the left, we have an editor where we can edit, add, copy or delete navigation items. Before we start configuring navigation, we need to give our page section some IDs. So, select Edit section, Go to Advanced tab, choose Advanced, and give this section a unique CSS ID name. Keep in mind that it has to be a single word without white spaces. Repeat these steps for each section. I'm gonna call my second section Services. Third section's ID will be Team, and I'll give my fourth section an ID of Contact. Now let's go back to navigation by clicking on element itself. And in first section's ID, type the ID name that you gave to your first section. In my case it was hello. So let's repeat these steps for the rest of the items. My second section's ID was services. Third section's ID was team. And I have another section with an ID contact but here I only have three items. So let's add a new item and type ID contact. You can always add more items, copy or delete them. And basically that's it. Our one page navigation already works, but there are a few other things that I would like to explain. For example, if you want to change the icons of your menu items, you can choose from huge variety of preloaded library. To do so, Click on the item and in Select Icon, choose Icon Library. From here, you can choose any icon you like. Let's repeat these steps for other items too. I'll choose this one for my team section and maybe this for my contact section. Now, our navigation looks much better and if you want to choose the position of your navigation, you can do it from Layouts panel. You can configure both horizontal and vertical positions. So this is how one page navigation works. On the left, you have your navigation items and on the right, you have the page sections. When you apply same section IDs to navigation items and page sections, they get connected. And when users click on each item, it will take them to a corresponding section. Alright, it's time to check the premium features of the one page navigation add-on. One really cool feature that comes with Pro is to highlight active navigation icon. After activating Pro version, in editor panel you find a new section called settings. As you can see, setting called highlight active is turned on by default. To give you a better idea of what it does, let's scroll down the page and when we reach certain section, its corresponding menu icon gets bigger. So basically, it lets users know which section they are looking at the moment and this tiny feature can drastically improve the usability. And of course, you can always disable or enable it according to your needs. Show Tooltip is another great feature that comes with Pro version. 
and it also enabled by default. If I hover on menu items with my mouse, it will show this little tooltip that displays the name of the section. We can name those sections whatever we like from Navigation Editor. So let's click on the item and in Section Tooltip, write whatever name we like for our section. I'm going to call my first section Home. And as you can see, the tooltip already displays the name Home. I'll call my second section Services, just like its ID, and the tooltip says Services. Third section, our team. And fourth section, contact us. So, home, services, our team, and contact us. Perfect. Now, if you want to control the scroll speed of auto navigation between different sections, ProVersion has got you covered. Just go to settings and increase or decrease scrolling speed number. Just keep in mind this number represents milliseconds. 500 means half second. So if you make it 1000, it will take 1 second to scroll from one section to another. If you want to change the color of your icons, ProVersion does let you do that. Go to Navigation, choose one of the item, and here you will find the icon color setting. Click on the color itself and it will open the color palette. From here, you can choose any color you want. Repeat those steps for remaining items. You can give them same color or make them all different. Finally, there's another great pro feature which will make your navigation look even more awesome. Let's go back to layout settings and activate stretch vertically option. It will stretch your navigation background from top to bottom. If you want to change the color of the background, go to style, navigation wrapper and choose the color you like. At the end, just update your page and from now on, your site has an awesome one-page navigation. Don't forget to check out the Royal Elementor add-ons website, where you can find all the information about the plugin and buy the Pro version, which gives you many, many great features. If you enjoyed the content of this video, click the subscribe button so you can receive more content like this in the future. In case of any question, please write a comment below, we would like to hear from you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.